No, we're Dalton. Somebody spun out. That's me. Okay. I showed it on his birthday and 13 year old to turn 13. I pulled him driving and should know. Important thing to start learning is how to slide the truck. <laughs> Mid 10, y'all. What are we doing this afternoon? <laughs> We're gonna spray. Try. I was trying to spray some beans. Well, I was <laughs> spraying beans. That wasn't gonna happen. I'm trying to finish spraying beans, we got yeah. two fields left and we'll be done. You know, I need to get two fields left. The old support cable decided to crap out. Yep, so she won't fold out without support cable. Won't pull the arm up when you send it out. It'll fold out, it just won't hold the end of it up. Yeah, that's what I mean. It wag down. Six in the ground. So take it in part. Oh, good gracious. Did you put it on with the impact? No. There it goes. Mm. Get you right in a nut. Kind of damn nut. <laughs> uh, makes my stomach hurt right there. It's a good shot there. Make your stomach hurt a little bit. I seen we were spun out through the yard and loading in jugs. <laughs> you like an inch? I like that. He did? No, I did. No, we're Dalton. Somebody spun out. That's me. Okay. I showed him on his birthday and 13 year old to turn 13. I pulled him driving and should know. Important thing to start learning is how to slide the truck. It'll teach you this winter when it gets snowed, but this is how you do it. Come here sideways. Yeah, he's gonna hit the fence that thing. <laughs> Yeah, let's hit yep. fence and drive and hit ditch and road. Here, we'll cut that wire tie too. Yeah, I thought I had to cut so I got these. They still on my wood? That's what we put in your pile. That's what's putting in your pile out there. Okay. I gave you the smaller stuff. I cut y'all like 12 inches, right? Yeah, 12, 18. Yep. That's about, all, that's about what that stove can handle. I taught him how to, I taught him how to leave radio on the truck too to listen to stuff while he did it. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Got the tunes blaring. Yeah. He needs he need a 12 inch subwoofer for that truck. I got one in the shop. Well, we put one in it. <clears throat> it go deaf. Be good for him. He doesn't need his hearing like me. No, it's overrated. Hearing's overrated. You want to be able he, to. He, no. can bring the, he can bring the sound system fashion <clears throat> back around here, maybe. <laughs> so I stopped at the store to get Gabby Coke yesterday and for we went swimming. Yeah. Some dude growing up about my age, about 40. Yeah. He had his sound system blaring. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Good for him. I give him a thumbs up, you know. Like, you little throw for that, bud. Whatever. Yeah. Keeping it alive. He did have some wide wheels on it. Because he was doing he was doing something. Something they had to, had the radio. Sitting out in the truck and just doing something outside a couple months ago. I said, dude, turn the radio on. What, daddy? I said, here, let me show you turn the radio on this truck. Turn turn the key backwards and turn the radio on. It won't run the battery down. And this is the radio. I'll do something then. Oh. Now, now I caught him out there. Windows rolled up and the doors closed. Now you got to open your doors up, buddy. Open your window. Roll your window down. So here. Yep. Here you tunes. You get more work done, I guess the tune's going. You got it? Yeah, I think so. You're gonna put another clamp right here, right? Yeah. I put three on there, I do, I do them every which way. So we got our first loop on here. Tighten this bolt up, and then we'll put the other end on there. Yep. That cable feeds. Through here, come touch your tube over here. Did you get that little wrench? No, I did not get a little wrench. <sighs> oh, it's in the tray. I don't want her couldn't see it. It goes here, right? Yeah. Okay, then it goes in the spring here. So that's where we're going to. The spring. Yep. Uh, well, it probably do. When we get blocks, a couple blocks, we put a couple blocks under it so yeah, it sets the height and too. about enough. Man, I might not have bought enough cable. There you get a little slice. I ain't got enough adjustment in that. Splice it together for a day. Well, I ain't got, I ain't got, I don't know if I, I don't have enough. I ain't got enough U bolts. Yeah. Let's go back to the store. What time is it? 
close, 4.30. Well, I guess I'll finish this tomorrow. It'll be a tomorrow project. We'll go to town and get some U-bolts. Well, if you go to town, you should go by TSC and buy some cable. Yeah. We could do that. And then we got 18 foot. Needed 20. As you can see, it's there. It's right there. It's supposed to be right here like this. But it needs to be able to loop back. Yeah, we just need like three more inches. So, that's what she said. Well, can we take a little slack of that side down there? Ain't, ain't enough slack in it. Ain't enough slack in it. No, so I got it just barely wrapped. Yeah, you do. All right, so uh, we'll go back to town and we'll be back. And we're back at it, folks. Get the sprayer hooked up. Well, it's been hooked up. We're gonna try out the old boat fix. We got to cross Hayfield. Uh, Corn over straight up in the driveway. So we're taking a shortcut through the hay. We're about to hit this field of beans back here. We're gonna try a little bit of fungicide on today. And this should be, should be, should be the last trip across these banks. I hope it is. Because they're gonna be just right heights where if I knock them down they're gonna they're gonna die. But we got a full spur to drug so you know what we got. And when we got other stuff it just, just ain't ready to run yet. You know? If I project it's a project. Anything. Let me see your face. Sleep my dead spot there in the grass. Here's my path. Maybe I'll go without breaking this time. We had that left hand cable break. Oh, good. Picked up pretty high. All right, about there. He's up some checker height, Tony. We're about to shoot right through her. It's boom, like an iron. Y'all hold on. Somewhere she's gonna get kind of touchy. If you see me knocking down things, just don't tell me about it. I know I'm gonna do it. Just run them and try not to let it bother us when we hit them. Hit them right there. Yeah, got it. And we're cleaning this little bit of grass. Got a little bit of grass right through here. Grass. And a little bit of grass up. You kind of, this strip we're coming through right now, I started running wide last time spraying them. Hit the base too many times with the duels and they don't. They don't care much for it. But all in all, 30 inch rope means not too bad. Supposed to hang on the tractor, don't fall off out here in the beans. Gosh dang, I was worried about you too, man. We're gonna have a talk to you, Mr. GoPro. You gotta hang on, hang on with all your strength. <sighs> Bud, thought I lost you. I mean, I'm walk way over yonder looking for you. And look at here, you just from here to the tractor. See, you're supposed to be hanging on the boom, not laying out in the bean field. Laziness. You're on thin ice, mister. 
Thin ice. All right. I'll put you in the cab. You might be a little scratched up. Let me, go. Let me get you rubbed off there. Sorry for fussing at you, ma'am. Just, I was upset, you know? You jumped off the tractor. He's all just laying out in veins. Probably got sprayed on you. So, yeah. Anyways, while we're out in the veins, look at these things. They look good. Well, we got back at her, folks. And, pretty sure we got done spraying. You gotta get out and check the old tank. Oh yeah, she's empty. That's good. Cause what I was doing right through here, I'd already sprayed this spot yesterday. So I just run a little extra on two passes to run her out. No sense of, gotta watch the step. No sense in wasting fungicide. But beans look pretty good. They're a little bit spacey right here on these. A little bit wet up on this ridge. Well, wet right through there. You get over here a little bit and they fill out better. See over just a little bit, boom. Good roll beans. Oop. I see a pigweed. Take care of that. We don't need you there. Nah. Problem solved. So beans look pretty good. We got beans from, you know, about thigh high till you get. Well, so we're up on the ridge here. It drops off. It's wet on the ridge up here. You go down the ridge. They get about midway, so you get in that bottom, they get a little bit shorter. But you get back up on, on that hill. The beans get a lot taller back there. They're probably, oh, they're probably about belly button on me, you know. They're probably right about, well, my belly button's lower than that. They're about mid, mid waist. But they look good. I'm happy with them. Those spraying rigs still looks pretty decent. So with all that being said, I'm gonna get her folded up here. Fold her up one last time. The beans are getting tall enough. I'm almost at max, at max lift on my sprayer. If you can see the that metal cylinder sticking up pretty high. Got that done. Keep riding on down through here. So this has us wrapped up on full season beans. Still got some wheat beans to spray. Hopefully just once more. <clears throat> we'll see how things go. We did uh, we did burn down on them. We come back over the top to uh, kill that wheat. And hopefully we can just come back with uh, one more application of like oil or fertilizer and some fungicide and call them good. Because we're right here to the end of, it's the end of July. Yeah, end of July. So maybe about the middle of August, we can spray them and put them things to bed. Move on, move on to not spraying them all for the year. That would be, that would be nice. If y'all remember, if y'all enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment if you feel like it. Like always, good Lord's will, we'll catch you on the flip side. Till next.